Uh, we have some other students to celebrate tonight. Some seniors at Whitefish Bay High School have worked hard to bring back a neighborhood theater. The doors of the Fox Bay Cinema are back open tonight and tomorrow. Kaylee Starrell caught up with the students who made it possible. Here, because then you're kind of secluded, you're not in the way. Anna Olson remembers exactly where she sat. Well, like, this was the place to go, like, with your friends on the weekend. At the Fox Bay Theater as a kid. Three, two, one. Years later, she's back with a new friend, Sophie Hatton. It's been a big part of my childhood, like my kind of first taste of independence, you know, like going and buying a ticket. A duo that grew up in this theater, devastated when it closed during the pandemic. Now, this is a small local hometown theater, so it was sad to see it go. Yeah, I was pretty upset about it. I remember I was talking to my parents, I was like, why are they closing? They decided the show must go on. We emailed the village president and we're like, oh, we have this idea. Uh, what do you think? That idea projected into reality with the Whitefish Bay Student Film Festival. And with the push of a button, the curtain will come up to show 12 different films from kids all around Milwaukee. Bringing back, you know, student films um, in, in this theater is like a very valuable experience. So tonight's going to be an opportunity to revisit the theater, but mo more importantly, see the great work of young filmmakers in the city. The money raised going back to the community. The money is going to Art Start, which is a charity that donates to kids by like empowering them through the arts. After months of planning, figuring out how the ticketing website works and figuring out how many seats we have. And bags of popcorn. <laughs> all to put a spotlight on the young filmmakers and the theater they call home. If you have an idea, like you genuinely yeah. can, like. Just like being back here is so surreal and like, oh my gosh, this is happening. Reporting in Milwaukee, Kaylee Starrell, TMJ4 News. <laughs> I love that theater. And the children shall lead us if we let them and support them.